it was just nice to contribute and um, you know, bring games to the team. They're a young team as well, and and they're giving a lot of the youngsters an opportunity to you know play the game. Uh, you know, not really focused on them to be honest. We're just happy that we you know we're two 0 up in the series. Um, you know, we just have a really good relationship. Um, most of the Indian guys have played it as well, and it's just nice to catch up. Three, well, an opportunity to win a series against a top rock nation like India. Let's tell me how you guys are handling that pressure in itself. Um, you know, we've been under pressure since we played T20 cricket, since we won the last two World Cups. Um, the last, two World Cups, sorry. Um, it's all about focusing on what we can control and, you know, you know just getting better at our skills, game awareness, and try to put a complete performance together. I know how gutted you guys are, things aren't going well in, in, in all formats of the game, but to come and get a series win against India, what would it mean, especially for the fans as well? When we do win the series, then I could you know, comment on that. At the moment, we haven't won anything yet, and it's all about you know, recovering, coming back here Tuesday and, and putting on a performance and winning the game. A word on the Providence service here, you played for the Amazon Warriors. Would you say that knowledge um, was used here today? Yeah, it's a beautiful wicket, and you know, I love batting the game. You know, Providence, and it's nice. Yeah. Lucas, you seem to have a liking for the Indians. Obviously, you are now the highest run scorer in T20 against India. A word on your uh, your batting. Obviously, it was a great knock. Yeah, my job is to score runs. Um, and I have scored runs against India, and it's nice. Um, you know, try to be a bit more consistent and score against you know other teams as well. But for now, I'm just really happy that you know, I can really contribute and you know, get some wins for the you know, West Indies. A word on a word on Tilak Verma. Obviously, he made his debut in the last match. He he scored his first fifty. Uh, having played against him in the IPL, what do you make out of him in some, uh, as a batter? <laughs> he's really good. I think um, he's 2021, 20, and you know, India would give him a lot of opportunities, especially in the shorter formats. So, you know, once he starts to you know understand his game, understand cricket a bit better, you know, the sky's the limit for him. He's super talented, and you know he's gonna reach really far. Nicholas, uh, were you surprised that India didn't use Yuvendra Chahal in the 19th over? Um, again, you know. I'm outside. I'm not sure what what's their plan there, but you know, I'm sure Harry Carter had a reason why he you know chose not to use him. But again, you know, he could have bowled a 19 over. He could have won the game there. So. Anything you you think the guys need to tighten up on uh, to be able to see the series to come Tuesday? Um, I think uh, at the moment we're doing really well. Um, in patches we're bowling extremely well. And I must say, you know, coolest to the guys. Everyone is putting their hand up in the ball in the past. When they're batting, you know, we get in there, you know, every single game. You know, everyone wants to perform and you know, they want to win games, which is really important. So you know, we're expecting a, bet, uh, you know, a better batting performance from everyone because I know it, they, they want to perform for us. A word on Akhil Hussain. Brilliant stuff so far. Yeah, um, you know, Akhil has been you know, really consistent for West Indies over the last, what, three, four years. And it's really nice to see him. You know, he's a, you know, top 10 bowlers in the world when it comes to the T20 format. So, you know, you just continue to do what he has to do and that's really important for him.